Today we're in Grand County just outside of Winter Park and we are joined by our friends at Learning by Doing to show off a new culvert designed to improve fish passage on Cabin Creek. Culverts are critical pieces of any road network, especially in the high country. They come in all shapes, sizes, and materials, and really they're designed to allow people, equipment, vehicles to get across the stream. So the old culverts are bad for fish because they don't align with the elevation of the stream. They don't have a natural bottom and they're basically a tube that essentially is like a hose that has high velocity water that gets pushed through. And so once fish get through, they can't get back up. It prevents the migration upstream because of the high velocities of water. Essentially, they're kind of separated from their main population. So this is an AOP culvert. It's an aquatic organism passage culvert. This Cabin Creek project involved removing the original culverts that were here. There was a four foot and a three foot corrugated steel culvert and also replaced the partial flume which was acting as more of a fish barrier than anything else. And what we did here after we removed those two culverts was rebuild the whole stream bed and build this AOP culvert over top of the stream to allow fish to pass. So the benefits of these new culverts is that they're an open bottom arch so you have the natural stream bed underneath and so it's essentially like a mini bridge that allows for free flow of passage for any type of aquatic organism. If you look upstream and downstream of this culvert, our crews have done their best to simulate the natural stream bed and that includes placement of boulders, cobble, pools, riffles. This is going to be a much, much improved stretch of stream and the native cutthroat trout are really going to appreciate this. I'm here at the Cabin Creek AOP project. It's a really great example of learning by doing at work. Learning by doing is a unique partnership of East Slope and West Slope water interests. And our goal is to maintain and enhance aquatic habitat in Grand County. We also do projects like working with the water providers to keep water in Grand County's rivers and streams. We also do large two mile plus stream restoration projects like we did on the Fraser River a few years ago. Denver Water is part of the Grand County community. We've been operating here for almost 100 years and we're committed to learning by doing through projects like this Cabin Creek AOP culvert that allow us to improve aquatic organism passage while also allowing our crews to access needed infrastructure. Denver Water's contribution was the construction part of it. We've got the machines, we've got the trucks, we can haul all the material. Learning by Doing took care of kind of the book work of it and the funding and the grants. Forest Service helped with their design and the engineering. A lot of cooperation, yes. So we know that rivers and streams here in Grand County have seen significant impacts over the years and they do need our help to improve the aquatic habitat. Wow, this is huge. It's awesome. It's incredible. I mean, just the, the shape and how big it is. I think they did a nice job breaking it up the flow a little bit here mm -hmm. with the, the boulders. Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. We've got a natural stream bed that matches up. This will actually open up probably over a mile of stream. I think the fish are going to be really happy. I really love how as Cabin Creek flows through this culvert, it really looks like a natural stream. It's really a, a beautiful project that Learning by Doing was able to help out with. Yeah, it probably couldn't come together without that collaboration and cooperation and teamwork and when you put all those together magic happens and I think this is a great example of that magic.